to be time my damies top cat here and welcome back to the channel i'm super excited to bring this video to you guys today this is one of my favorite exotics we are on the arc 3.0 hunter i loved this exotic back in solar i loved it with stasis and i always used it in arc for dungeons but now with arc 3.0 out we get to update it and make this even more potent than it's ever been before we are of course using the assassin's cowl Vanishing Execution, Powered Melee Final Blows grant invisibility and restore a portion of health and shields. Finishes and Final Blows against more powerful targets increase the duration of the invisibility and the amount of health and shields restored. The reason I've always liked this exotic is because of the invisibility factor and the resist factor that the Void Hunter always had. We're taking that and giving it to an Arc Hunter that just has so much raw power and now with the changes with blinding and jolt it's even better again a lot of the power of this build comes from its melee the combination blow a quick strike that temporarily increases your melee damage this stacks up to three times when you defeat a target it also fully restores your class ability and gives you a small bump of health then we are also using the gambler's dodge when we dodge we're going to do the little tumble and this is going to fully recharge our melee ability so it's just punch, dodge, punch, dodge, punch, dodge, and you just wipe everything. Not to mention the fact that we're invisible during all this action. So no one's seeing us coming up with this meaty right hook. Go back invisible, then we can dodge with ease, get our melee back, and smack some more people in the face again. We are going to be using Spark of Feedback. Taking melee damage briefly increases your outgoing melee damage. And the Well of Ions mod, when we pick up Arc Wells, this is also going to increase our melee damage again. So very strong melees, we're right up next to people so we're bound to take a little bit of damage and that's where the resilience of the spark comes in handy so don't be afraid to get in amongst it. Every time you take damage you're only going to get stronger, you punch things, you go invisible, you get your health back so very good aggressive playstyle with this. This used to be an exotic that I primarily used for soloing dungeons but now I find it versatile enough that I can run it on all levels of activities. Lethal current arc aspect. After dodging your next melee has increased lunge range. Jolts targets and creates a damaging aftershock. Also damaging a jolted target with the melee also blinds them. Now this jolt lightning storm is mighty impressive. Smack one person in the face and just watch the arc go out left right and center and just zap all your foes to pieces so so good and it just helps speed up this fist fight that you're constantly in with this lightning storm the flow state arc aspect when you defeat a jolted target this is going to make you amplified whilst you're amplified your dodge recharges faster this is really that important but you are more resilient whilst you're dodging this is very very good and your reload speed of your weapons is greatly increased i'm also using the seasonal class item mod sunder and glare Rapid precision hits against distant combatants weaken them for a short duration. This is a great mod to use for sniping, linear fusions, uh, trace rifles, anything at range you can do some extra free damage. So highly recommend this mod being unlocked. We are also using the fragment sparker resistance. This is just going to be another resistance buff that we get when we're in there surrounded by foes. We just become more resistant to incoming damage. Now with the aspects and fragments we've used thus far, we've got these invisibility traits, heaps of resistance traits, our punches are so much stronger, we've got jolting, blinding, amplifying, everything at our fingertips. So now we're going to turn and take a look at our weapons, and we're going to look at spark of discharge, arc weapon final blows have a chance to create ionic traces, this will feed trace ability energy back to us. And we're also using a spark of ions defeating jolted targets creates ionic trace. So ionic trace is up the yin yang just by using our arc weapons. I'm using two arc weapons predominantly for this build. I'm using a fourth horseman and an arc LMG but you can change your LMG based on the class that you might need for said event. Now you can of course use whatever weapons you like, but I'd like you to consider a weapon loadout similar to this. I'm using a Succession Sniper Rifle. It's got Reconstruction and Borpal. I use this in the Kinetic slot. It's great for range play. Anti-Barrier Sniper Rifle is a seasonal mod. We all wanted this back and it is truly, truly strong. Great option this season for your Barrier Champs. 
It is easily one of the best legendary snipers in the game. Does mad boss deeps. You can get this from the Deep Stone Crypt Raid, and I highly recommend farming this out if you have yet to acquire it. If you have got it already, you know how good it is, and I don't need to convince you. For my energy weapon of choice, I've gone with the Exotic Shotgun, the 4th Horseman. This shoots a volley of shotgun pellets. It's got 5 in the mag, even though the title suggests it's 4. But uh, extremely powerful at knocking down yellow bars. This season we also have Unstoppable Shotgun. So this is very good when it comes to like the Ogre and the Raid per se, or just any GM dungeon level content. You can just stun it and kill it all in one foul swoop. So very very good pellet shotguns have got a buff for the last two seasons running now inside the pb so they're actually really good at doing damage now and the fourth horseman is the king of all shotguns in this regard as you can just chew through enemies it just unleashes all its ammo in one foul swoop now you might have realized by now yes this is a double special build i haven't found this to be an issue there's rally flags everywhere scavengers it's no big deal at all so yeah, double, uh, double special and heavy, no primary required, that's what I fist it for. For my heavy, I've gone with the, oh god I can't pronounce that, Planet Stride. It's an Arc LMG that came out this season. You can get vaults on it that I just really want just so I can embellish the Ionic Traces even more. But you can kind of utilize this as a primary if you really need to. So it does great damage at range. De decent damage against bosses of the likes as well we have overload machine guns this season as well so we've got all bases covered with this thing so we can just knock knock it down do some damage with either our sniper or our shotgun run in there and start punching things again but this is the weapon i will be swapping out depending on the activity i need i might need a void lmg or a solar lmg so i'll swap out this regarding burns if we have match game to deal with both the corrective measure from Bog or fixed odds from Duality are great options in this regard. I'm using the new Blink as my jump. Love this thing to pieces. I'm trying to get better at it. I'm still still working my way up there. But uh, yeah, extremely good. And if you can crack this, this is a far superior jump to use. For my super, I'm using the Gathering Storm. It's new, it's fun, and why not use it? It's great to have a super for the Arx Rider that you can literally just chuck out there and get back to doing damage with your weapon. So, yeah, I'll be using this for a while to come. I will leave a dim in the description of the weapons, mods, uh, artifacts, all the things like that in the description below. But I'll just quickly cover off the armor as well. On our helmet, we are running an elemental charge. Seasonal mod for scout and sniper targeting. And the shotgun ammo finder, this is very important as we do chew through that. Anti-barrier sniper rifle, unstoppable shotgun. And now I'll actually swap these out depending on what I have for set encounter. So I'll just rotate between these mods depending on what I need. If I have an empty slot I can afford it, I'll chuck in a font of might as well as I am running an arc shotgun. I'll always be running high energy fire. Thermoshock plating for solar and arc resistance and another arc resistance mod. Melee Wellmaker, Machine Gun Scav, and Shotgun Scav. On a class item, we are running Well of Ions, and the Artifact mod, Sundering Glare. Anyway, my dammies, that is the build for today. I hope you like this one. This is my new mainstay for my Arc Hunter. I will be using this all season long in some variation or another. But it is very nice just going up and punching things. You're safe, invisible, and they are none the wiser to your mischief. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up. If you're new and you liked it, please hit that sub. If you've got any questions or suggestions, feel free to comment down below. But until next time, tippy tie my jammies, what a tie.